It's a brand new day. Hey, hey, hey. It's a brand new day. The problem is always that we mistake the idea of love uh, for attachment. You know, we, we imagine that the, the grasping and clinging that we have for, uh, in our relationships shows that we love, whereas actually it is just attachment which causes pain, you know, because the more we grasp, the more we are afraid to lose then if we do lose, then of course we are going to suffer. I mean, genuine love is... Well, attachment says, you know, I love you, therefore I want you to make me happy. And genuine love says, I love you, therefore I want you to be happy. If that includes me, great. If it doesn't include me, I just want your happiness. And so it's a very different feeling. You know, attachment is like holding very tight, but genuine love is like holding very gently, nurturing, but allowing things to flow, not to, to be held tightly. The more tight we hold on to others, the more we will suffer. But it's very hard for people to understand that because they think that the more they hold on to someone, the more it shows that, that they care about them. But it's not. It's really just that they're, they're trying to grasp at something because they're afraid that otherwise they, will, um, they themselves will be hurt. Any kind of relationship which imagines that we can um, fulfill ourselves through another is bound to be very tricky. I mean, ideally people should come together already feeling fulfilled within themselves and, and just therefore appreciating that in the other rather than expecting the other to, um, to supply that sense of well-being which they don't feel on their own. Then there's a lot of problems. And also along with the projection which comes with romance where we project all our, our ideas, ideals and, and desires and, and romantic fantasies onto the other which the other cannot possibly fulfill once you get to know them you recognize that it's not Prince Charming or Cinderella. It's just, you know, a very ordinary person also struggling. And unless one is able to see them with, to like them as well as feel desire for them and, and to also have loving kindness and compassion, then it's going to be a very difficult relationship. How wonderful to welcome back Desi Egan, our Irish singer who comes to Marbella and the Costa del Sol so frequently now. All I can say is congratulations. Oh, yes. Grand job. Thank you. you. I love it here, yeah. It's lovely. And it obviously loves you. Yeah. Last time we met, we was on the beach in, in Punta Romano, right, which yeah. was absolutely fabulous. Um, and you lovely. were coming then to perform and do one of your lovely tours that yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. So what's brought you back this time, Desi? We we're just planning to do, um, looking for locations for a new video that we have coming out for a new song called uh, Really Love To See You Tonight. It's an old uh, classic song that I'm familiar with from the, the old 70s or 80s era. So I just like to find a nice location and do a nice video for it. Well, how wonderful. What better place to come and record, record your video clip yes. than here in Marbella. Yeah, we have so many good... We've got the sunshine, yeah. we've got great professionals, yes. which makes an, obviously a Absolutely. nice difference. Yeah, do you have an idea in your mind? Do you see, how do you see it? Have you like well, got the Spielberg version just, in your just, head? Just, <laughs> just 
listen, I, obviously it's such a beautiful place here. I, I'm happy with uh, just enjoy. I'm sure the, the usual um, beach scene will be in it and a little bit probably around by the port, which is nice for him. A couple of uh, familiar sites that people will recognise when they come on their holidays. They say, oh, I know that person. The old town, something yeah. in the old town, yeah. because I yeah. see yeah. the song yeah. with yeah. you and that, the, the mm. classic, because it's yeah, like, yeah. the classics the classic in, the, song, yeah, in yeah. the classicness that we have also. Some people don't even know we have an old town. We do. Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah, it's lovely actually. We're down there actually as well. It's lovely. It lovely really small little streets and lovely very, restaurants. Very unique. Very, yes, very Spanish, is. which is beautiful. Yes, indeed. Spanish, Irish, Oh, so many nationalities, so many cultural traits. Yes. Music, however, seems to transcend all of those. It is. It's and it fantastic. joins us together in something quite special. Yes, yes. Music is. It's, without music, the world would be a very boring place. You couldn't imagine getting up in the morning without having to listen to a nice song or something that brings you back in your memories from the old days or even the modern music, which is Ed Sheeran and those people now producing some great, great music. And, the generations going forward will always have something in their mind to say, well, that was a lovely song and such and such a time. And when we were kids growing up, we remembered the stylistics or Al Green or Barry Weiss and then the young ones going to the 70s and remember the style counts. So it has a generational gap that everybody is familiar with. So it continues on a long way at last. When did your passion and love for music start? Very, very young actually. Um, I was probably about uh, seven or eight when I remembered like, playing the first couple of notes on the piano. And then I went in to uh, learn the piano as a, and played piano with many a very famous singer. So from a young age, really, you know. So develops, you nearly want to be starting young, but it doesn't matter what age you start music, as long as you enjoy yourself. And don't stress if you're not Beethoven. Just as long as you can knock a little tune out, it's fine. I often remember uh, <laughs> Kevin Bacon saying that at first he was very upset that he wasn't getting leading roles that he wanted. Mm. And then he decided to accept secondary roles and found that he actually was an excellent secondary role star. Right, and yeah. he actually shined. For you, it's a little bit the other way around. Mm. You started off your career mm. from being the backing for other great that's stars, right, yeah, right, and then yeah. it got to the point when you said, like, okay, I'm going to now move around so, yeah. and come in the front. Yeah, it was a challenge to, to, to do that, and all because of, I think I've I mentioned this in radio different things initially before, but all because of modern technology brought keyboard players out of being in a band, you see, so that they had what they call backing tracks, so they didn't need the full band, you could augment it with uh, back and track and maybe two or three members. So it tidied it up into a smaller operation and it was more accessible to people to do it into venues which could only afford a three piece instead of a bigger show. And then also the big, big acts started to augment all their sound with back and tracks which to do and mix it into, into the mix for them for the shows. So it, it came at a stage where for me as a keyboard player, it left a bit short for, for work I found. So then I said, well, I need to modernize myself and get out and start singing. So I got the backing tracks, learned the songs, and now I do my own shows. It's developed, now I'm hiring some people in with me now. So it's developed along as, as you go. It's a challenge, but it's nice. But it's it. nice, the challenge is nice. If you're yeah. sitting you know, the same thing happening every yeah. single day. It's like reinventing your, exactly. your career at, you know, a few years down the track. Oh, you have to. Yeah, Life yeah. is changing, so we have to keep moving, keep changing. Yeah. So you've got your new single coming up. You're going to come here to organise to record your music video, which That's is absolutely right, yeah, fabulous. Yeah, what yeah. other things have you got in the pipeline? I'm Any more tours? Oh, yes. <clears throat> I, I've been fortunate enough to, to get some... Uh, an agency has uh, taken me on in uh, France. And there's a lady down there called Valerie who's going to be doing my booking and promotion in Nice and Monaco. So that's just coming up, and only recently I've, I've the contract has been put together for that. So I'm looking forward to going down to France and Nice and Monaco, areas I used to dream about years ago. As a, as and a now young. you're living the dream? Well, hopefully. I'm looking that's forward to getting down there and, and performing about. down there. You Looks know. like it to me. You're going to France, you're already here on yeah. the Costa del Sol. Yeah, this, so. is, this, is, this is lovely being here. I did never think, my aspirations never went that far, but I'm happy to be working and it's nice to get the opportunity. I really want to thank people down there in France that has been supporting me and giving me the opportunity to go down there and actually perform for them. I'm looking forward to that. May we, bien sûr. Well, before we let Desi go, we know that he loves the piano and he's a 
quite adept at it. So why not take the opportunity of Velvet having this beautiful piano here? And Desi, would you play a I'll little, play a little tune song for you? Thank you very much. And it's lovely to see you again. And thank you very much. Lovely to Nicole. see you so healthy, fully oh, yeah. recovered. Thank you very and, much. And you're looking and beautiful so yourself. And thank you once again for having me on your show. Always and a pleasure. Thank you very much okay. indeed. Let's go over to the piano. Okay, no, <laughs> be nice. four times a month and 25% discount on your car insurance if you're the zero hero. Yeah, I'm here in Marbella, but I, it says here I'm in La Canada. If you haven't mastered the lingo, don't worry. Linear Director has a free GPS geolocator service that will come and find you. Hey, hey. Did you know the average person spends four years of his life looking down at his cell phone? Kinda ironic, ain't it? How these touch screens can make us lose touch. But it's no wonder in a world filled with iMacs, iPads, and iPhones, so many eyes, so many selfies, not enough us's and we's. See, technology has made us more selfish and separate than ever. Cause while it claims to connect us, connection has gotten no better. And let me express first, Mr. Zuckerberg, not to be rude, but you should reclassify Facebook to what it is, an anti-social network. Cause while we may have big friend lists, so many of us are friendless all alone. Cause friendships are more broken than the screens on our very phones. We sit at home on our computers, measuring self-worth by numbers of followers and likes. Ignoring those who actually love us, it seems we'd rather write an angry post and talk to someone who might actually hug us, am I bugging? You tell me, cause I asked a friend the other day, let's meet up face to face. They said, alright, what time you wanna Skype? I responded with, OMG, SRS and then a bunch of SMHs and realized, what about me? Do I not have the patience to have conversation without abbreviation? This is the generation of media overstimulation. Chats have been reduced to snaps. The news is 140 characters. Videos are six seconds at high speed. And you wonder why ADD is on the rise faster than 4G LTE. But get a load of this. Studies show the attention span of the average adult today is one second lower than that of a goldfish. So if you're one of the few people or aquatic animals that have yet to click off or close this video, congratulations. Let me finish by saying you do have a choice, yes. But this one, my friends, we cannot autocorrect. We must do it ourselves. Take control or be controlled, make a decision. Me? No longer do I want to spoil a precious moment by recording it with a phone. I'm just going to keep them. I don't want to take a picture of all my meals anymore. I'm just going to eat them. I don't want the new app, the new software, or the new update And if I want to post an old photo Who says I have to wait until Thursday? I'm so tired of performing in the pageantry of vanity And conforming to this accepted form of digital insanity Call me crazy, but I imagine a world where we smile when we have low batteries Cause that'll mean we'll be one bar closer To humanity
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Now, if you haven't joined the family yet, this is what I want you to do. I want you to click like on this page and click see first so that you never miss a beat. Now, for more insider information, offers, and just special challenges, go to my website at princea.com and sign up for my personal email list. And the last thing I want you to do, you listening? Make each breath count. Peace. Tomorrow is Thursday. That means your free copy of Euro Weekly News is out and about for you to go and pick up. If you do, remember to check out my column, Marbella Moments. We'll also be back tomorrow with another Marbella Now. We look forward to welcoming you and our guests. And that we hope you will go to our website, MarbellaNowTV.com, to register for this year's United Nationalities of Marbella Summit coming up on the 24th of April. For now, take care. Yes, hasta mañana. Be nice to each other. And it's time.